Hello and welcome. In today's video, it's something a little bit different. Uh, a while back, I nearly had a nasty accident by uh, tripping over my wallet that had fallen on the ground out of my pocket because it had so much money in it. So I thought, well, I have to do something about this. So I took a thousand dollars out and I bought myself one of these, a Heimer 3D sensor. So what this video is going to be about is, is I thought that I, I would compare how accurate it was comparing to a, uh, a centering clock when, when dialing into a hole. This, this thing is supposed to do not only edge finding but also uh, finding the centre of the hole. So join me at the middle in a minute and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I intend to do. Join me again in a minute. Bye. So, uh, what you're looking at here is a typical um, setup if you want to uh, find the centre of a hole. So we've got, we've, got a, uh, we've got a DTR on here and we actually uh, sweep it round and uh, keep adjusting it until it's uh, the, uh, the DTR reads zero all the way around. Now that's quite a time consuming uh, uh, setup to do that. Now this, this Heimer thing is, is supposed to do it all in, uh, in no time at all. So what I've actually done is now is, is, is that, as I say, I've found center on this. I've actually set my DRO on, on the absolute position and zero the X and Y out. So what I'll do is now is I'll break this down and uh, and put the Heimer in and uh, show you how it all works and then we'll com at the end we'll compare what the uh, what the error is so join me again in a moment bye right so this is the Heimer and it's a uh, what they call a 3D sensor you've got uh, it, it 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 moves in X and Y and Z as well so the, 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 the principle is, is that the ball is 200 thou in diameter, so when, when, the, when the ball makes contact with the edge, you, you wind this round uh, two complete turns, and that will then put the, the centre line of the spindle over the centre line of the hole. So uh, what I'll do this now is, 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 uh, is bring that down. Now, now the other thing that I discovered, um, uh, having a trial run, is that it, it, and by the way, this 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 is this is done done statically. You, uh, don't turn the machine on. It's it, it, it's 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 a static thing. Now, what I have discovered is is that it doesn't matter where you put this to take your initial reading, but once you've done it, don't move it. Now, I'll I'll, I'll illustrate this. If I just wind this over now, and put that round two turns, you think, well, okay, it's fine. But if you rotate this, can you see how the you know, it's, it's going what plus 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 five minus zero. So I think it's because it's it's a um, an x an x y system. But of course, by, by rotating this round, you 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 you're introducing. I don't know whether it's a cosine error or whatever it is. But you're introducing you you you're moving the the stylus in in two directions. So as I say, it doesn't doesn't matter where you put it. So as I say, for this illustration purposes, we'll, we'll leave it there. So right. So the idea, of what you've got to do is is to is to bring this over until it zeroes. Now what I'm doing is, is now is is I'm I'm, I'm now going to switch the the DR over DRO over to the incremental mode, and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. So that's uh, that's why I've just moved. So Y zero. You bring this over here. So you don't touch anything else. Don't don't twiddle it. Don't don't adjust the X or anything. Just wind this over until it comes up to to two turns. Bit like that. I'm now going to push Y half, and that's and that's half the job done. Just bring it back to anywhere you like. As I say, don't don't move anything now. Don't don't rotate the the. Um, uh, the, the Heimer or anything. So, so now we're going X. We do the same with that. Coming up to one turn, two turns, and I'm going to zero X out. Coming the other direction. Coming up. Where are we? Somewhere there. Someone's out. work around the camera. There we are. Two turns and X half, and there we are. That's the that's the uh, that's the job done. Hopefully, that's it's as, it's as simple as that. So all I've got to do now is is, is to put both the the uh, the readouts onto 
up to zero, both directions. Uh, which is which is what I've now done. So what I'll do now is is I will stop this and I'll turn the camera around and show you what it looks like on the uh, on the DRO. Join you in a moment. Um, handheld, so there we are, that's incremental and showing zero zero. I'll now push the button and go back to the absolute and show you what the what the what the error is, if any. And it is showing uh, a sow and sow and two tenths in X and a sow in Y uh, compared to what it was with the with the uh, with the centering clock. But of course this 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 can be um, be, because the because the uh, centering clock was was um, uh, fixed directly to the spindle, um, there's no run out. But of course, this this Heimer is absolutely is, is, is into an international 32 er uh, collet adapter, and it's in a collet. So I mean, that's that's one sow, I suppose. Is you know could be could be run out in the collet or or uh, or run out in the, in the adapter itself. Uh, well conclude this and I'll have a speak in a moment. Bye. Uh, so there we are um, in conclusion. Um, yeah, it's uh, I like it. it it's uh, I say if, if you can put up with a with a with a one thou error, well uh, all well and good, but if something's got to be really uh, super duper accurate, well obviously go back to the uh, using the uh, DTI centering clock. But uh, it's certainly uh, certainly very very much quicker than than. Uh, than, than using the um, than, than using the, the, the centering clock. I mean, it, it took me oh, a, a good ten minutes to set that up um, uh, with, with the centering clock, as I say. And, and once it was in there, I mean, what was that? Two two minutes, if if that. Um, so I hope you like that. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Now, there's one or two um, stills just coming on, as I say, because I I got myself a piece of. Uh, uh, solid teak and machined it out to, to, to make a, uh, a case for it because I thought you know it only come with a polystyrene uh, sh shipping thingy and no good at all so um, once again thanks again for watching and uh, wherever you are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you on the next one bye